everyone, so I was stuck on what to film today after my tutorial so I went on Twitter to find out what I could possibly film and someone suggested I do a tag so she suggested the seven deadly sins fashion seven deadly fashion tag I have initially done the beauty one which I will link down below I did that um, a while ago um, so I'm just going to do that now I'm just going to answer the questions for you so I'm looking at my laptop because it's over there um, I really can't read it, but I'm going to try it. Um, what is your most inexpensive and expensive fashion item? My most expensive fashion item will probably be tights and leggings. They're so affordable, I, they're very practical, I wear them a lot. For example, these ones which I got from Primark not too long ago. They have like these sort of suspender type detail and they've got like a bow. I don't know if you can see. It's a bow type thing. So when you put them on, it looks like you've, you've got suspenders on and stuff. So I have a, um, an outfit of the day where I actually wore these tights. If you haven't already seen it, I'll probably put it down below. And my most expensive fashion item will have to be my Louis Vuitton Damia 35, which I don't even use anymore. I got it as a birthday present like two or three years ago, and I wore it to death then. But now I don't reach for it, I just kind of don't like it anymore. Um, because it really gets, when you put a lot of things in it, it gets really heavy. Especially because the arms are quite short, so you have to hold it like that. And it can, like, you know, give you muscles. That's probably, that's probably where I actually have muscles now, because of these sort of bags. But, um, so I don't wear them anymore. But I really want to get another, I want to get the Neverfull, either the MM or the GM, because... I saw the GM and I really like the size, but I'm not sure if it's for if it it would be too big for every day. So um, I'm kind of still trying to decide on the MM and GM. But yeah, I'm not really a designer type girl. I don't really own designer items. And um, like I said, this was my birthday present, so I wouldn't normally go out and buy designer items that expensive. So, uh, but I really wanted one that bag, so I will get it. What fashion item do you have a love hate relationship with? and what item has been the hardest to get so the first one what do you have a love-hate relationship with i'll probably pick this skirt this skirt is from H&M. I got it last year it's a leather type skirt um it's quite it's like a high-waisted skirt and for me i find that some things i wear are not very flattering with the skirt because um i'm a size 8 for bottoms and this is a high-waisted skirt and I really have to wear it quite high up, just uh, because a size eight, but just because a size ten is quite big, it won't really look good. So I wear it quite high up, and it does tend to get a bit poofy. Sometimes I can get away with wearing just um, blouses or shirts and stuff, and they're fine. But anything else like jumpers don't really seem to go well with it, just because of the way it's been shaped and stuff. So I would probably say this skirt. What item has been the hardest to get? Um, it will have to be. A long sleeve shirt. I have been searching far and wide for a long sleeve shirt, a sheer long sleeve shirt. There was either a dipped hem, like an asymmetrical um, design, or just a plain long sleeve shirt. But, um, but I just can't seem to find any. But the closest I've gotten to finding one is this one I got from Topshop. Um, it's a long sleeve dipped hem and also has um, this cut out detailing at the back. And it's not like, it's quite short, like the top, the front is quite short, it just goes to my waist. And I would have loved it if it was, you know, the same length for a little bit longer. But this is the closest I can get to getting a, a white shirt. So, for some reason I just can't find one anywhere. I found cream ones, beige ones, but never an actual white shirt. So, I would have to say a white long sleeve shirt. What fashion item do you have the most of? It would have to be blazers. I absolutely love blazers. I'm collecting. I'm, I'm almost done with my collection. I did say I was going to get every single colour of the rainbow. I'm just waiting to get a pink coral colour and a purple colour and I'll be complete. But I love blazers. I think um, they're just another staple item to have in your wardrobe and they go with everything. If you want to have like, if you want to make your outfit sort of from a casual look to a smart look. I love the corporate feel it gives as well. So blazers, I'd say. And the next one was which item do you wear the most? 
blazers as well. I'd probably say blazers because, like I said, they go well with anything. If I'm really stuck in an outfit, I would just put on a, a normal blouse and put a blazer over that with leggings or jeans or whatever and I'm good to go. What fashion item do you neglect out of laziness? Um, now, with that question, whenever I buy something, I buy them to wear them. I have never get something and not wear them or like leave it in the wardrobe for like for days and months and stuff so I wouldn't say neglect anything on purpose I would go for heels because though I have quite a lot of heels quite a few pairs of heels I don't really go out as much anymore like night time so I don't tend to reach for my heels I don't like wearing heels in the daytime I can get away with wearing boots and stuff with heels but not actual platform heels or stilettos so I'd say my heels are what I would neglect, but not out of laziness, just more of because I don't really have anywhere to go to wear them. And what fashion item gives you the most self-confidence? Probably heels as well, because it just sort of gives you that sort of grown-up, more elegant feel when you wear heels. And I feel like, I don't know, not that you don't get, I feel like you get, not you get taken, I was going to say you get taken seriously, but I don't think you wouldn't get taken seriously if you weren't wearing heels, but there's a sort of grown up sort of feel when you wear heels and um, yeah, especially at night time when you're going out, you don't want to have, you don't want to wear flats because it doesn't really give you that, you know, that look to you, so it definitely boosts you up, you know, literally, <laughs> and um, yeah, it gives, it gives you confidence. I wouldn't say I, I have to wear heels to make me feel confident, but I like the feeling wearing heels and feeling really elegant and sophisticated and that sort of thing. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? This is another question, similar to the one in the beauty one that I felt was kind of random and irrelevant, but I guess it also means what fashion attributes. I love a guy who can dress really well, who really has an eye for fashion and doesn't just wake up in the morning and puts on a shirt and jeans and trainers and leaves and then walks out the door. I want somebody, I like somebody who um, puts a bit more effort into the way he dresses and you know, is well groomed and everything and I love guys who wear blazers, like one of the most like attractive pieces of clothing on a guy are blazers and it's like smart casual, I'm not really a fan of trainers anymore, I'm more like a smart casual footwear type wearing guy, you know, toms, loafers, that sort of kind of, you know, and like like smart shoes, that sort of look, you know, a nice blazer of jeans and like shoes, like smart shoes, just, I'm sold, basically. <laughs> a pet peeve of mine are guys who wear belts with like the designer symbol at the front, it's just, it doesn't do anything for me, especially if you know the rest of the outfit, it probably didn't cost like probably went to Primark and bought like a shirt and jeans and then you know bought such an expensive belt and to, to make you think that they're really loaded and stuff but yeah I don't like the belts but um just a guy who can dress real well and has an eye for fashion. What item would you most like to receive as a gift? It would probably have to be a pair of Christian Louboutins because they are a pair of Christian Louboutins. Um, I would never, I I still can't justify myself spending that much right now anyway because like I said I don't really go out that much anymore so where would I wear it to and um, even if I did go out I wouldn't want to wear it so much because I wouldn't want to get it scuffed or dirty or you know worn in because they are like really expensive shoes but if I did get an opportunity to get it as a present as a gift I would definitely go for it um, I do love that brand as well, I love his shoes, so it would have to be a pair of red bottoms. That's the end of the tag, I tag everyone as usual, I put everyone's name down below, but everyone can do this tag, I tag you and you and you and you and you, so please do the tag and leave it as a video response, I love watching tag videos. Um, this look has already been filmed and should already be up, so I won't tell you what I have on, please go have a look at the video, I'll put a link down below as well. So you can have a look. Um, I've given up on this hair by the way. I'm just so fed up. I had a lace closure malfunction so I had to turn it into a side fringe. So now it looks like a full sew-in which I don't like. But um, hmm. So 
that's it really. Oh, also, if you want me to do another video, like another questions video, like questions you haven't, I probably haven't answered before, or questions that you've always wanted to know, please let me know, and please put it down below actually, and I will do my best to answer them all. No hair questions, please, no hair questions. I get that enough already. Um, so to any other like general questions that you might want to know about me, I will try to answer the ones I think I can answer and are appropriate enough to answer. Uh, so yeah, just put all your questions down below if you want me to do one. If not, then that's fine, but it would be nice to do another sort of updated video. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.